That's done with. What's up, and everyone? This is B Rice coming through with game. another video. Warzone Welcome to the channel. Subscribe, like. That is very much appreciated here at the channel. Everybody is very important that is watching. And today I wanted to talk about Black Ops Cold War. Got it here on Charlie Intel. We got information on what's going to be in the game, the weapons, and the perks. And I'm going to read some of them off here. So we're going to start off with the assault rifles. We have the XM4, the AK-47, the Krig-6, the QBZ-83, and the FF FR-1. Those are the assault rifles. Uh, myself, I love using the assault rifles. That's usually my main guns. Um, I've never really been into the submachine guns uh, as much and and not even the right sniper rifles i'm not too much into those i mainly just love running around with assault rifle uh but that's me and that's what i'll be probably using uh during the blackout black ops cold war game multiplayer here is the smgs that are going to be in the game the mp5 the the milano 821 the ak47u the KSP-45, and the Bullfrog. Um, the only guns I've played used in these here from a past games is MP5 and the AK-47U. Um, I may have used the KSP-45. I can't remember which game that came from. But um, the MP5 is a beast. And I believe they nerfed the submachine guns coming out for Black Ops. Uh, they nerfed them a little bit. But the MP5 was uh, a w really good weapon in the Alpha and the Beta. Uh, haven't used the Milano 821. The AK-47U, I believe that should be a, a pretty good submachine gun. They c and I don't know about the KSP-45 or the Bullfrog. But... Um, I, they probably are going to be some better guns um, going through the rankings. So the Bullfrog could be a beast. Tactical rifles, we got the Type 63, the M16, the AUG, and the DMR-14. Um, I've used uh, the Type 63 in a game, current old, old COD. It was pretty good. Uh, the M16, I've used that in Modern Warfare 2, and also the remastered Modern Warfare 2. The M16 was my one of my main guns I'd use. And the AUG, and the AUG, I've played used AUG in some of the recent COD games, and the AUG is all right. I have never really found a game that had a, that was beast with the AUG. Uh, the DM4, DMR14 should be a good tactical rifle. LMGs, we've got the Stoner 63. The RPD, the M60, and uh, I believe they gave those a buff. So there is gonna those guns, the LMGs should be a little bit better from the beta and alpha testing. Sniper rifles, we got the Pellington 703, the LW3 Tundra, and the M82. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of uh, sniping, but for, for those out there that snipe, the Pellington 703, the LW3 Tundra, and the M82 will be in the game. Shotguns, we got the, the Hewer 77 and the Gallo SA-12, SAW-12. And I'm not much of a shotgun guy either, but... If, but if the game is, if you really have to have a shotgun in, in tight corners, I will use shotguns if it's necessary. And I don't too, know too much about those guns, uh, so we'll have to try them out. Pistols, the M1911. I heard that gun is supposed to be pretty decent in this game. I'm not sure. It may have got a buff or something before the, before the game comes out. I think there might have been a buff or something. I heard something about the M1911 being good. Then we got the Magnum and uh, the Diamati, and uh, I don't. I've never used the Diamati, so and the Magnum should be probably pretty good. Launchers. We got the RPG Seven and the Sigma Two. So those are the launchers. Melee. We have a knife. Special is the M79. And now we're going to get into the perks. We've got perk one 
is the engineer, which can detect enemy equipment and score, streak, score streaks through walls. See enemy score streaks on your mini map. Re roll your care packages. Then we have paranoia. Hear and alert when enemy aims at you. Your vision pulses if the enemy is outside of your view. Flak jacket. Take less damage from enemy explosives and Molotov fires. Then we have the tactical mass, which maximized resistance to flashbang and stun grenade, immune to gas. And now we have the forward intel, which is this, which uh, see indicators for enemy reinforcements on your mini map. Mini map shows a larger area. So that could be useful. useful. Now we have our perk two, assassin. Enemies that appear on your minimap when shooting or revealed by a spy plane will have a crosshair indicator instead of a red dot if they are on a kill streak. So that they will have a crosshair indicator instead of a red dot if they are a kill streak on a kill streak. Receive extra score for taking them down. So that's kind of cool. That's for the assassin. Gearhead. Reduce build upgrade cooldown store up to two field upgrade charges so that's the gearhead scavenger replenish ammo from fallen players less normal the quartermaster recharge equipment over 25 seconds tracker see imprint on enemy footsteps aim at enemies to reveal them on your team's mini map okay that's a cool add on there for the tracker uh, the aim at enemies to reveal them on your team's mini map. Uh, that looks pretty good. I might be using that for the perk 2, the tracker. Uh, perk 3 Gun Ho. Fire we your weapon and use equipment while sprinting. Move at full speed when reloading. Switch weapons faster. Take less damage from falling. Fire more accurately when sliding. Ooh, that sounds pretty beast. Then we got the ghost, undetectable by enemy spy planes whenever you are moving, planting or diffusing bombs, or controlling your score streaks. That's ghost. Cold-blooded, AI-controlled score streaks will not target you. Player-controlled score streaks will not highlight you. Show up, uh, show up cold on thermal. Players in vehicles won't see your nameplate. Alright, so that's for cold-blooded. Then we have Ninja. Sprint more quietly. Resistant to field medic when sprinting. Speak only when necessary. Hmm. Spycraft. Hack enemy field upgrades. Immune to counter spy plane. Jammer, tracker, and paranoia. Won't trigger proximity mines or gas mines. Booby trap enemy care package booby trap enemy care packages okay so that's spycraft and then we also have wild cards which we got danger close equip extra lethal and tactical equipment and start with max ammo lawbreaker equip any weapon in either slot and equip any perks gunfighter unlocks three additional attachment slots for your primary weapon and then we have Perk Greed, which equip three extra perks. So that's for your wild cards. Then we have, let's see, Equipment. We have our Lethal, which is C4, Frag Grenade, Molotov, and Simtex. Those are your Lethals. Tactical, we have Stun Grenade. Stem shot, smoke grenade, flashbang, decoy. Field upgrades. All right, so we have for field upgrades, proximity mine, throwable mine, explodes shortly after one enemy runs and drives over it. Can be avoided by crouching, destroys any vehicle that runs over it. Field mic, deploys a recording device that highlights in it. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> A recording device that highlights enmity sounds on your mini map. Trophy system destroys thrown enemy equipment and launches missiles within 10 meters. 
which is cool. Trophy system. Sam turret launches missiles at enemy air score streaks and player piloted helicopters. Assault pack. Supply cache containing ammo that gives bonus score for taking down enemies. That's under assault pack. But now we have the jammer, which creates an electronic disruption field, disabling enemy field upgrades and degrading enemy minimap information. And finally, we have gas mine, proxid, proximity activated trap that expels a large cloud of harmful gas. Enemies inside are damaged and dis disoriented. All right, so that's cool. So that's great on the field upgrades. Then we have our score streaks. And that's the last thing we'll be talking about is the score streaks here. We have the combat bow at 500 score. Arrows burn targets and the surrounding area cool down 120 seconds. Um, the RCXD is 800 score. And so these are the very bottom beginning. And actually here, I'll point them out here. So we're on the RCXD 800 score remote controlled car strapped with explosive cooldown 90 seconds. Then we got our spy plane, 1000 score, reveal enemy positions through the fog of war, cooldown 90 seconds. Then we have our counter spy plane, at 1200 score, scramble enemy mini maps and disable hostile missile turrets for a short time. The cooldown is 60 seconds. And then we got our armor, reduce incoming bullet damage, destroyed after it absorbs too much damage. Cooldown 120 seconds. So that's 1600 score. Um, when I was playing the beta and, the, and alpha, uh, I was getting around 3000 score in a game. So. That's like, you know, probably mid by mid game you could get to that. Let's see, we got ourselves the care package. Airdrop a random score streak. Crate self destructs after use. Cooldown 90 seconds. Then we've got the sentry turret, which I want to use that. I think that'll be cool. It's got a 2000 score to use. Deploy a deadly automated, automated turret that targets enemy planes, vehicles, and equipment. Cooldown 60 seconds. The napalm strike launch a targeted carpet bomb striker of explosive napalm cooldown 30 seconds. Artillery launch a targeted carpet bomb strike of explosive napalm cooldown 30 seconds. Then we've got our artillery which launch yep, launch a targeted airstrike on three locations. Unused strikes can be saved for later cooldown 30 seconds. Cruise missile, 2,600 points. Steer a trio of missiles with boost and air brake controls. Secondary missile auto fire at painted targets. Cool down 90 seconds. The air patrol, call in a squadron. That's 3,200 score. A squadron of jets to attack enemy air score streaks. Counter enemy air patrols. Cool down 0 seconds. War machine, high explosive grenade launcher. Cool down 60 seconds. Attack helicopter, 4,000 score. Colon, an armed support helicopter. Cool down 60 seconds. Then we got the chopper gunner, 6,000 score. Be the gunner in a close air support helicopter. Cool down 60 seconds. So that'll be fun. And we got the VTOL S score, 8,500 score. Lay waste to enemy infantry and vehicles from the cockpit of a power. VTOL jet, cool down 90 seconds. Boom. And then we have the gunship score 10 G's. Be the gunner in a close air support gun ship cool down 90 seconds. Another beast. And uh, that's about all I have for today. So thank you guys for watching, listening, comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll check you guys out later when we got some upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay, which is coming out November 13th. I will be on that day to do a stream of the multiplayer. And have a great day. Peace. took me out last time. Son of a gun. Now we're being tracked. Apologize for the lagging there. Computer just can't handle this, this game that well.
if you guys enjoy this content subscribe to check out more videos on my channel got a lot more warzone gameplay and gonna be coming out with some multiplayer gameplay oh there it was oh done smoke me god see all that patience he had just sitting up there for just like I was sitting down below. Oof. Back in the game again. Oh, let's see. Well, we're going back to where we were. Not exactly, but I don't want to get sniped. Just want to some supplies. I mean, we know the guy's upstairs, so be downstairs. But there's a lot of loot to get down here, so. I'd like to get back to where I was. So for that, here goes my loot. Oh great, the jug. The jug. Nobody wants to play against him. Silence LMG swap with M91. Mm -hmm. Just watch it once that jug gets close. Yeah, book it. Sniper. I'm going to be coming out with some live streams coming up in the next week or two. Let's see if you guys enjoy live streams better than uh, just video capture the commentary what's good about the LMGs uh, for Warzone is you can take out more than one person at a time without having to reload that's one big benefit that I, that I know about even though I don't like to use them a lot but um, if I don't get to the loadout and I have an LMG, I'll just hold on to it. By close up, I like to use a kilo. Even if it's just custom. I don't have the, haven't got to the loadout yet. All right, let's see, getting hot. 19 players left. And I know that 
snipers over there. People are going to be coming and oh, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. I do like to have the door shut so I know when people are coming I can hear them. So that's always something good to do. Alright, got out of that mess. 14 players left. So the jug. Oh, gotta fight the jug there. He's gonna be the last one left. He's gonna be the problem. That and the sniper. see what happens here. I don't want to get blown up by a mine or claymore or anything. Yeah, it's dangerous. This is a very dangerous situation right here. Damn. Eleven players left. All right, seven players left. Nothing like the little juggernaut guy. Woo! And what do we got here? 29 seconds. When it drops down, turn on, probably put the UV on, the AV on, we got six players left. God, that guy drives me nuts. I'm just going to sit there trying to kill you. Waiting it out a second here. They're gonna be coming right around there. 
Good for you guys. Trigger not. Dude, I don't even want to bother with you. Our concern is the jug. Damn it, come on, dude. to take out the juggernaut. It's the only one that matters. Ah! See? Like, he came to me. That guy's tight. Look at that. There's nothing I could do about that. Well, anyway, other than killed the other guy, and I still would have lost. The circle is too small. Good game, everybody. Thanks